guys, this looks like a fun one. It says evaluate. It's seven triple factorial divided by eight double factorial times five factorial. This is day 13 of our algebraic calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna solve 28 algebraic problems. It looks like there's some pretty cool ones in here. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, let's find the values of each of these. Five factorial means five times four times three times two times one. And you'll notice that each of these decreases by one each time. Now with eight double factorial, we start with eight, but then we go times six times four times two. We decrease by two each time. That's what the double factorial is signifying. Instead of going down by one each time, we go down by two each time. And for the seven triple factorial, that's gonna start with seven and then times four times one. We're gonna decrease by three each time. And now we know what each of these are equal to. We can clean it up a little. This times one isn't doing anything, and this times one isn't doing anything. Let's copy down the original expression, and let's rearrange it like this. In the place of the seven triple factorial, let's plug in seven times four. And then for the five factorial, we'll plug in five times four times three times two. And then for the eight double factorial, we can plug in eight times six times four times two. Now let's simplify things. This is the fun part. This four on top and four on bottom can cancel each other out. And this two on top and this two on bottom can cancel each other out. And now we can change this eight into a four times two and this six into a two times three. And these two fours will cancel each other out and these two threes will cancel each other out. So we have seven times five over two times two. Well, that's gonna be 35 over four. And this is the answer to our question. All of this simplifies to this. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's question. It's x to the fifth plus x to the fifth plus x to the fifth equals three to the 11th. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.